Good morning. It's currently day three here in Siem Reap. I uh, just woke up. I'm gonna travel a little bit today. The itinerary is to go to a floating village and just explore a little bit. Maybe go to another temple. And now I'm just looking for breakfast to see what I can get right now before my trip. So I stopped by a restaurant near my hotel. It's pretty close. It's actually only like not even a minute walk from my hotel, so it's super close. And I ordered the fried fish omelette as well as watermelon juice. Trying omelette again would give me another chance because yesterday I had it. I wouldn't say I didn't like it, but it just didn't have a lot of flavor to me. So hopefully it was just a one off at that restaurant. So I'm just going to try it again to see how it tastes and see what it should taste like. Hopefully this place tastes good. So I just got out of the restaurant. The amoko is pretty good. I actually had chicken this time instead of fish. Yeah, overall, I think this place was better. I'll definitely be back to try some other traditional Cambodian food since it's really close and super cheap. Everything all together was $4, including the amok and the watermelon juice. I'm walking the city again to go see the temple. It's called Wat Bo. It's probably supposedly one of the oldest temples in Siem Reap, 300 years old. So yeah, I'm gonna go walk around buy some candles and some offerings first to make to the Buddha statues and then go in do some prayers and stuff and walk back out. Yeah. These stupas are here. A lot of people think they're mini temples. They're actually graves. Uh, people's bones and ashes are placed under them. And in Southeast Asia particularly, uh, the cemeteries, all the bones are in the temple surrounding the temple because Buddhists believe that even in the afterlife you can still be around and hear the monks chanting prayers. Fruits surrounding the temples are jackfruit trees. Look at how big these are. Oh my god, there's. I think, whoa, there's, I thought there was five, but I saw one, two, three, four, five, but then I looked up and there was at least five more there. Right now I'm at the area where they have a lot of uh, monks doing alms. So in actually in this position, the monks are asking for alms. And every morning the Buddhist people believe that if they donate, then they have good karma. So there will be food, water, whatever they can, money. Uh, is donated to the monks and that's what they live off of. They only live off of donations specifically for food. And yeah, it's a very good thing to do. I've actually been able to participate in Laos. It was very heartwarming uh, to do it back in the homeland. Well, I just got out of Wabo and that was a beautiful temple. It's interesting to see how much the temple architecture varies between countries throughout Southeast Asia. There are a lot of similarities and a lot of uh, differences between um, the temples, especially without Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia. Um, yeah. But now I'm headed back to my hotel just to rest for a little bit and get ready for my trip to the floating village today. That should be around 2.30, so I have, I have about an hour to chill, relax, maybe shower. It's super humid here. I'm like sweating like crazy. Yeah. All right, I'm back into my hotel room. I just changed a little bit, but it's about time to head downstairs to wait for a tuk-tuk off to the floating village. Um, so let's go. So I just got onto the bus to go to the floating village. So far, there's no one on the bus, but they're gonna be picking up more people. We just stopped at a hotel, but this bus has AC, so it's pretty cool in here and I'm really excited. stop on our trip is we are stopping at the local market where one of the villages sells their food and their fish just to check out the local produce the fresh local produce I would like to buy JG I would like to buy black and different banana bought from outside country especially like Emerald was living in Portugal in a line from the country you know you see this kind of piece that we call like a head
So right now I'm on a boat uh, exploring the mangrove forest here in Siem Reap. Um, it's also attached to the floating village that's also here and it's like a scene from Pirates of the Caribbean or Tiana's Bayou. It's really beautiful here. So I just got dropped off to my hotel from visiting the floating village and now I'm super starving. It took about five and a half hours for that trip and it cost about $20. So that's pretty good actually because it was a whole half a day. Plus you had an English tour guide so that was pretty good. But now I'm just going to look for something to eat because I'm super hungry. So hopefully we can find something. So I just got done with dinner and I had western food so I had like french fries and grilled chicken. I was just craving a little bit something savory and then something that would fill me up. It's pretty good. I think overall it's $4.50 USD. So that was pretty good. Um, yeah, now I'm just going to go back to my hotel room and rest and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. I'll be going to Angkor Wat for sunrise and that'll be at 4.30am so I have to sleep early. Some good night rest. Alright, see you next